Hi everyone. Today we're going to read about April Jones and Omarion and Little Fizz. If you don't know who's Omarion, if you don't know April Jones, if you don't know Little Fizz, well, when I was young, I was a big fan of the B2Ks. Today I am 32 years old. Yes, ma'am. 32 years old and I still love B2K okay I still love I love Omarion's music I am I love Omarion's music um, but we have a situation here about uh, April Jones and Little Fizz um, I've been curious about this this relationship and you know what I decided to read on them because they're public. Okay, why not, right? So we're gonna go and look into the whole mess. We're gonna get the tea, honey. We're gonna get the whole tea. So like I like I like to do this prayer first. Um hold on. Uh there it is. I like to do this prayer and ask Archangel Michael to, to protect my space protect my home um I like, I like it this prayer card and it says our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us okay uh okay and lead us not into temptation Tempt, uh, but deliver us from evil. Amen. So I ask Archangel Michael to come step forward into my space and protect my space with light, love, and energy. Um, and I ask all my ancestors to be with me now and protect me in this this energy that I'm about to these energies I'm about to read today. And um, I'm not doing this to hurt anybody or anything. I'm, this is pure entertainment purposes. Okay, so you guys chill. Um, feel free to comment. Okay, I'm so sorry about the video quality. Things will get better. And we're gonna go and tap into the mess. Honey, we're gonna get we're gonna get some tea. Alright. We're gonna get some tea. So I'm using the, the Green Witch Tarot. Okay, and it's on this box. I keep I keep them in this box because I have kids and it can get messy sometimes. Let me see if I can. I have like I have a tripod. I not a tripod. I have a ring light, which could have been much better. But the thing is, um, my kids took off the screw off the the tripod for the ring light. It's so, children, that's kids for you. I have five. So we're gonna tap into the energy. What I was always curious about, honestly, I want to know. There's like something going around calling I'm, I'm a Maureen about it, which is really funny. It's hilarious. So we're going to get into the mess and we're going to stop talking for a little bit. And let's just get to the down and dirty. Okay. Archangel Michael, step forward. I come with love, light, you know, good intent. Just entertaining people right now because everybody want to know what's going on. What's going on? So let's tap into April Jones and I keep forgetting his name, Lil Fizz. Lil Fizz is a part of the B2K members. So let's tap into the relationship of April Jones and Lil Fizz. Let's tap into that. I'm excited. I actually really, I'm so nosy. I want to know. <laughs> Let's find out, honey. Let's find out. April Jones. Can you, Archangel Michael, can you tell me anything about April Jones and Amaria? I mean, April Jones and Little Fizz.
Hold on. Because I feel like she's creating something out of this mess, this entire mess. Who is this old man right here? This is a mess. This is not a good, this is, I mean, their relationship is honestly, ooh, I see a third person here. I see a third person here in the, okay, hold on. There, okay, this relationship is honestly for, for money, you know? Yeah, they are together, but honestly, it's because of money. I feel like they are creating something to have income to take care of their kids. And somebody look like they're, they're like relocating. I feel like Lil Fizz is going to move. What is going on here? Hold on. This, this yo, their relationship, honestly, um, is on shaky ground. It's, I don't, yo, I wouldn't be surprised if it's not gonna last long. Does, does Lil Fizz have anger problems? This is not, this is not a relationship that is blessed but they think that this relationship will probably get them a reality show but I'm sorry that's not gonna happen because everybody okay I see April very stressed out I see there's an old lady here that's not happy I feel like the plans that they had about this relationship is just just like everybody's talking shit about them you know some say they, they do get support but honestly april is the one that's more hurt than anything you know april needs counseling okay i do see something i do see that there's a blessing that wants to come but I see they're building, they're, are they building, a, are they making, are they doing a business? I don't know if you guys know. The Wheel of Fortune. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them speaks to like a psychic or something. Because I feel like they're talking to somebody. One of them. This is not good energy. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, I'm going to leave at 530 because y'all I gotta go pick up my kids and I'll do some more videos tomorrow but um so the thing I wanted to know is are their relationship is going to last oh shit I just mix up the cards is it two? Oh, just only two I mixed up okay are there, is there, is, okay, is there a relationship gonna, gonna last? I haven't done, I haven't done readings in so long, it's crazy. I've been going through so much. Alright, is there a relationship going to last? Is April and Lil Fizz relationship going to last? This is more, this relationship feels more for TV, you know? They're doing this because of money. I think they've been planning on this for a very long time. <laughs> Period. What's this? Okay, is this relationship going to last? If you guys have any, like, want me to do a reading on them again, let me know, sis. Is the relationship going to last? Do they have like do they have a house? I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. I used to. But I see some clips and stuff like that. But did they buy a house? Did they buy a house together? It's not a balanced house. You cannot build a relationship on um like a like a like a weak foundation, you know, because the foundation that they're on, but I do see a blessing. So so this could it be 
Hold on. Little boy right here. Hmm. She's April's working on something, working on some kind of business venture. And it's not gonna work out. I'm sorry. It's not gonna work out. Whatever she's trying to do. You see they're talking to a Okay, I see them celebrating. I see they'll make money, you know, off of the show, off of, off of the storyline, but at what cost, you know? It's not gonna last. It's not gonna last at all, sorry. And I'm sorry, April, but honey, he has other girls. Oh my God. April pregnant? Is she gonna have, yo, April's gonna get pregnant again. She's gonna have, if she has a baby, she's gonna have a boy. How does like Little Fizz feel about, um, okay, so I'm just gonna make sure again, let me see over here. Are their relationship gonna last? Are their relationship going to last? I mean, is their relationship going to last? Is it going to last? No ill will, y'all. I'm just reading, y'all. I'm just reading. The spirits are telling me what I need to say. I only mess with only, I, I, like, I forgot to say this, but I do not accept any low vibrational energy in my space. Only God's energy on it. That's all. Is, are they going to last? Are they going to be together for a long time? They're not going to be together for a long time. I just got the answer. They're not going to be together for a long time, y'all. It's like a T, it feels like a, more like a TV relationship. Yeah, April's going to get pregnant. And I don't know if she wants to keep it. <laughs> she is probably... I don't know if she's going to want to keep it. April's going to get pregnant. <sighs> April needs counseling because she is not okay. Oh, April's going through some shit. There's a lot of things. I feel like April is very broken, you know. You know, I I send nothing but light and love to you, April. Because, honestly, I don't know what you're going through. But this relationship you have here, honey, I don't know. I'm a little suspicious. I'm a little, ugh, I don't know. Are they going to last? Are they going to last? No, they're not going to last. I'm sorry. They're not going to last. And I really feel like from a year from now, things are just going to change. And I'm sorry, we cannot build a relationship. Yeah, they're not gonna, They're not going to be together anymore. It could be from a year from now or one to one, um, six months to a year from now. It's not gonna last. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I don't know if you guys are looking at them at, as goals, but they're not gonna be together anymore. This just was, this feels more like for a storyline. Yeah, they're, you know, they're messing around, you know, but. I feel like, oh, I feel like Lil Fizz is going to find somebody else. Are they going to, first of all, are they going to stay together? I'm going to, I got to know. That's some, I hope this, 
Okay, like I said, I feel like this relationship is on shaky ground and it's not gonna last. Hold on. She's going to get pregnant and that is gonna make her a little bit, you know, it's good. She's gonna lose her little, she's gonna lose her mind a little bit, sadly. And if she does have a baby, it's gonna be a boy. And I feel like April was planning to leave leave somewhere with her kids and this was not good at all yeah they're they're done they're gonna be done they're not gonna be together anymore i'm sorry i'm sorry but it's still feels a little shady to me it's not Yeah, she's going to be the one that's crying, and he's going to be the one like, bye, see ya, thanks, you know? Thanks, thanks for everything. Okay, bye. Um, let's see how Omarion feels about it. How does Omarion feel about their relationship? That's what I want to know. That's the tea, honey. I want to know that. How does, oh, I got to go soon. How does Omarion feel about this relationship? We'll pick up my children. How does Omarion feel about this relationship? I don't think Omarion cares. <laughs> Wait, I don't think he cares. How does Omarion, I feel like Omarion's like, do you, if that makes you happy, it's none of my business. It's not, I don't care. I feel like he's like, okay, let's be together. That's how he's like. <laughs> okay, Omarion, shoot, I wish I was more like you. How does Omarion feel about, let me pull out the soul card. Let's tap in into Omarion's energy. How does Omarion feel about April Jones and Luffy's relationship? Okay. Um, honestly, this is how Omarion, I think, honestly, Omarion is rising above. Um, he is so elevated. He is so free from all this effery. Um, he doesn't care, okay? He doesn't give a S-H-I-T. Um, he's really focused about himself and his children, let's just say. Um, Omarion is a very disciplined man. He's not messy. He's very structured. You know what I'm saying? And he has a lot of love. Even though this is going on, he wished nothing but, like, he's just like, I wish you guys the best. I really don't care. Do what you want to do. It ain't my life. It ain't my business. My, my business is my, my music and my kids. That's it. You can do whatever the hell you want. I'm going to focus on myself. Yeah. So, he doesn't care. He just cares about his children and his career and his mom, his brother. He doesn't care about April Jones. He doesn't care about Lil Fizz. He doesn't care because you know what? I feel like Omarion is very, um, what's the word? Intuitive. This man is very intuitive. He knows the outcome. And he knows that it's not, nothing good that, nothing a relationship like this it's not gonna it's never gonna have blessings you know what i'm saying why would you go with your your bandmates baby's mother and this is not the first time that little fit has done this to omari why does he keep doing that that's just weird so omari really don't give a f okay he doesn't he doesn't care that's my friend calling me um he doesn't care. He can't control the situation. He doesn't want to control the situation. He doesn't care to control the situation. 
he is a Marion to the situation. <laughs> um, fire. Omar is thinking about his own thing. You know what I'm saying? And it, yo, there's a baby coming. Not for Amarin. Amarin is like, I'm good for now, okay? But um, he wished him nothing but the best. And he's like, you do you. <laughs> I'm out. Yo, everybody should be like Omarion. He's, he's, he's thinking about his money, his stash. He's thinking about bringing generational wealth to his kids. He doesn't care about... April Jones. Care, yeah, this is his mother of his kids. And, you know, he has love for her, but not like... He don't F with her. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I'm sorry, whoever thought that this relationship would actually last. But I'm sorry to say this. It's not gonna last. Omarion is happy as hell that he's not with April. I'm sorry, April, if you've seen this, I'm sorry. He doesn't, he's, he feels free. He feels free. Um, it's so funny. He, he understands both sides, but it's like, y'all are just messy, you know? And you know what? Stay with your messy. It's like, stay with your garbage, stay over there, and I'll be right here doing my thing. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't mess up my career or whatever, we good. You guys can... F around, you guys can have kids, you guys can bike. I don't care. As long as my kids taken care of, we good. And honestly, Omari regrets being with this type of woman. You know what I'm saying? Because he's been warned. He's been warned. I remember watching an episode where his mom was warning him. And he really regrets being with this woman. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, he grew from that situation. And he will never be in that situation again. And I feel like, Omar and feel like, you know, I'm better than this BS. Like, I don't deserve this crap. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> let's see how April Jones feels about Omar. Hold on. Okay. Let's see how she feels. Gotta go soon. How does she feel about Omar? Hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry next time the imagery will be better and I don't know today is just ew, I need to cleanse my house okay how does April Jones feel about Omarion yo April is scared Um, she really felt like this is this type of mess is gonna bring her abundance. This drama is gonna bring her abundance, and I'm sorry to say this, that abundance is not gonna last forever. You know what I'm saying? Aren't you a singer? Why don't you focus about the singing? You know what I'm saying? Instead of a mess, don't let love and hip hop use you. Use love and hip hop. She got a lot of April. I wouldn't be surprised if April is has some depression, you know. And I really feel like she could have been with Omarion again. Um, she has a lot of doubts. And sometimes she wishes, like, doesn't want, sometimes she just doesn't want to be a mom at all. Like, she loves her kids, but sometimes she's like, I just want to be free, you know? Oh, April wants a, April wants a nanny. And she's scared of judgment. She's really scared of judgment. She doesn't want people talking shit about her, you know, but I'm sorry, but there are, I'm sorry. You put yourself in this mess. And you need to be thankful for what you have because I feel like you're a little. She needs better friends. Okay, so um, April, good luck. Um, I gotta go. <laughs> good luck, Omarion. 
you are you are rising above. Omarion is unbothered. April Jones is bothered. Little Fizz is still a little player. Little Fizz is not a faithful guy. So whoever thought that Little Fizz is faithful, honey, you better call somebody and ask somebody. Because I see some women, unless if they're doing um, some freaky shit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just admiring to the situation, seriously. <laughs> I, wish not, I wish all of them nothing but the best. And I think this was a really good topic. In my next uh, video, I would love to talk about, I would love to read, who can I read? Donald Trump! We're going to read Donald Trump. Oh my god. We're going to be on Trump watch, y'all. I got to go pick up my kids. Love and light to you all. I'm giving back everybody's energy. I'm asking Archangel Michael, thank you so much for reading me today. And I am grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm ask, I'm, I ask all my ancestors, thank you for being with me right now. And I give blessings to you all that watch my show. And please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This is Psychic Carlene. I hope you like this video. Um, comment. Let me know who you want me to read next. And I'll see what I can do. And you can ask questions. No problem. Anyways, love you guys. And thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe, welcome to the family. You are a blessing to me and a blessing to the world. God lets you go. Bye. Bye.